Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video that I thought was really important, kind of updating you guys on the website and how things are going to be working in 2021 going forward with the VPN review tier list system. And now guys, if you're not familiar with the VPN tier list website, this is kind of like the central hub of the channel. And this is where you can have everything that will be most useful for you when you're trying to pick or decide what kind of VPN to use in 2021. Maybe you've picked one already. Maybe you're still trying to decide what is the best option for you. And this is the website to go to. Now, guys, I just want to make it clear that um, the website itself is like kind of the main project and the VPN um, videos themselves are, well, I probably spend more time on the videos than I do on the website. Um, the website itself is always going to be the most accurate and the most up-to-date kind of organization of content and reviews as well as the scores themselves. As you, as you know, videos themselves take a lot of time to do and I can't always make a new video with every update. So the website itself is always going to be the most up-to-date and the videos themselves are more like generalized updates slash introductions, trying to get more people to check out the website, to check out the reviews and the scores and the, uh, the rankings themselves, as you can see here. Um, so what I did is I made the tier list transparency report. So this is going to be pretty much having every single update that I make to the website. As you can see here, just like in three months alone, I've made 20 or 25 um updates to the tier list itself um very incremental changes here and there every kind of review update is here as well as stuff not included in videos sometimes so take for example i literally just made a video today about surfshark's response and i made some changes there but after the video kind of thinking about it more talking with my community i decided to make even more changes to the score and kind of nerfed it down a little bit more so kind of, you know, this is kind of unusual circumstance making a video and just making changes the day of, but it's certainly a possibility. And when I made this website, I kind of had the idea that I could make this website kind of be like um, tier lists and ranking systems for like video games. If you've played any competitive video game, you know, they have these tier lists and they update them a lot. Sometimes just like with major patches, sometimes there's like a hot fix that comes out and the people who make these websites have to update them every time this happens. And the tier list itself is kind of like in a state of constant fluctuation. And that's kind of how my tier list is. Anytime a VPN pushes an update out, anytime I take a new look at it, because most of the time it's due to an update, um, the tier list can change and it is in a constant state of fluctuation. So I would bookmark the VPN tier list.com, keep it, you know, on your, you know, browser bookmarks, check this website every week or so. Um, stay tuned with the transparency report to see any changes made to the reviews. As always, these scores are always going to be up to date. So tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four, it's going to be shifting around a little bit, guys, here in 2021. Make sure of that. Um, it'll always be up to date here, though. I update sometimes this page a couple times a day. Uh, additionally, the comparison table is going to have the individual scores. So this is where I keep track of the individual scores and where I make changes that will end up in the aggregate score. Of course, I take all these scores and update them on the tier list itself. So that's always up to date. Additionally, guys, this is a new feature that I added to the comparison table. You could look at the application analysis details for all the reviews done in 2021. As you can see here, we have full information about the VPN providers, stuff like trackers, um, Android permissions, website trackers, what they if they support the Linux GUI, extension support, Amazon Fire Stick support, and stuff like that, as well as all the other VPN features of the main PC application itself. Additionally, guys, um, you should be checking out the RVP program every once in a while to see who's been accepted or who's been taken out. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think it will with some of these trusted companies, but it's certainly a possibility, you know, if any security vulnerabilities come out and they don't tell everyone, they could be removed from the program. But hopefully that doesn't happen. I'll be keeping watch on all these companies with a hawk-like eye to make sure that doesn't happen. You should always know that these VPNs in the RVP program you can trust pretty much 100%. I'll be doing my due diligence to make sure these companies hold up to the standards of the RVP program. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to do that. Um, I also updated it with all the CEO information, the company information, as well as the dates they were accepted. Um, of course, you always have the Discord server as well to get more kind of immediate kind of feedback with me, give feedback to me, talk with me, just kind of hang out with shits and giggles. You have the fact here, which is going to kind of give you a basic overview of the channel, some information about VPNs, how to pick one starting out as well, because it can be a lot of information to take in. If you want to check out my favorite products, that's also available as well. Just listing out some of the products I use day to day um, in this business that I run. 
um, as well as just some other things. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, there is a lot of information on this website. It's always changing. Stay up to date with it. Um, this is the central hub of the channel. Make no mistake about it. And I've put a lot of work into it and will put even more work into it in 2021. So thanks, guys. And click on some links on the website if you want to help support it. Any of these um, are affiliate links and it'll help support the channel. That's pretty much how the channel makes money. So thanks, guys. And I'll see you again very soon.